Welcome everyone. Today we have Lisandra Jorge here with El Centro de las Americas. We're so excited that El Centro is the recipient of our January 2021 Share the Plate. And welcome, Lisandra. We're happy to have you. So tell us, what is your role at El Centro? Okay, hi Kelly. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> My role in El Centro is community health worker. Okay, great. And tell me more about yourself. Well, I born in Cuba and I have seven years living in the United States, six of them here in Lincoln. Um, I have three years working in El Centro. Um, I started as a volunteer in 2015 and then finally I get a position in El Centro. Um, El Centro is an organization that I really love because uh, the idea of help others, it's wonderful. So El Centro and the work that I do in El Centro is very important for me. Mm -hmm. And what is the mission of El Centro? Mm, the mission of El Centro, in my opinion, is to educate and be a support for our community. Um, so El Centro is an organization who has the doors open to everyone who is looking for help in education, health, um, and power area. So we, we are very open to help everyone. That's wonderful. So who exactly in the community do you serve normally? We normally serve the Hispanic community, so our target is Hispanic community. But, as I said before, we are open to help everyone. Any person who needs help in the community can come to El Centro and we'll be able to, to help. Where is El Centro located? Right now, El Centro is located in 210 Owe Street in the same building of Community Action. So we share space with Community Action. Great. What types of programs do you have? Right now, our center has many programs. We have physical activity, nutrition, breastfeeding program. We have citizenship classes, GED classes. Also, we have a domestic violence Class, uh, classes or program and by the way we are open to help in many areas out of those programs for example if somebody come looking for um, open a bank account we can help with that <laughs> is it normal for you to go to uh, places in the community with someone and interpret for them Yes, um, we, we do that, we do that in some cases. Not all the cases, but in some cases we can do that. In my lactation program, sometimes I go to the hospital to translate for my clients. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not something that we do every day, but we can do it. Yeah, it's such a valuable resource. Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell me, what is the greatest challenge that your clients are facing right now? Hmm. Well, we have a lot of challenge, uh, but I think one of mm, our big challenge right now is the COVID and the impact that the COVID had or, ha or, or is having in the economy. So we are receiving a lot of cases of families with, with not money for pay rent, food, utilities, and we are trying to, you know, we are trying to get help for those families. Thanks God we received some, uh, in the last year we received some um, grants, but the demand is high, so <laughs> the grants not cover all the families that are needing help. Mm. Yeah. Big. Could you share one of your recent success stories? 
We have many uh, success stories, but one of the most recent story was on Christmas. Um, one of the mothers of my lactation group started the delivery. So I was helping her during the process in the hospital, trans doing translation and wow. everything. And yes, it was, was incredible. And after um, the baby born, uh, the mom sent us a beautiful message, a beautiful, a beautiful letter with a picture of the little baby. And she said that El Centro and our work was a Christmas gift from God. So it was incredible to receive uh, that message and very powerful word, words because that is what we do. I mean, and have the opportunity to serve in that way, it's, it's beautiful. That is so special. So was it was it a Christmas baby or a Christmas Eve yeah. baby? Yes, yes, a little, a little baby, beautiful, and mom very, very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I have my phone full of baby pictures. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> So how can members and friends of the church help El Centro with your mission? I think uh, being in contact with us and offer, offering help in uh, the events that we have. Uh, sometimes we need volunteers, sometimes we need um, combined force with other organizations. So if they are open to help in any way or in any area, uh, no matter what, that will be a great support for our community. Mm -hmm. And if someone wanted to donate directly to you, uh, maybe, you know, in six months later on in the year, how would they do that? El Centro has a website. The website is El Centro and E. The, uh, the or I guess yes that is the, the the website so they can go to the website and make a donation uh, in the donation label they can find all the information or uh, they can send a money order to us uh, by regular mail or maybe contact us directly and we can find another way to donate I don't know but in the website, they will have all the information in for, for making a donation, donation. Okay, great. Is there anything coming up in the near future that you would like us to know about? I know it's difficult with COVID. <laughs> Is yes. anything planned? <laughs> it's difficult with COVID, but we, um, you know, El Centro is still open. All of our programs are still open. Right now, online, but we not stop to serve. So we are planning, um, we have our uh, lactation support group every month. We have our nutritional classes every month. Um, so we are planning our Latino Festival 2021, who is in September. And all the events that we normally do, are on plan so we are trying to find new ways yeah. <laughs> because of covid uh you know it's it's difficult but yeah we are serving we are open we are working with our people mm -hmm. so the classes that you're offering right now are they all on zoom yes mm -hmm. all on zoom yes only if um in some cases if the if the case need or demand some personal meeting or conversation, we access to go to the office, but the rest is online. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time, Lisandra. I really appreciate it. And I hope that uh, the Unitarian Church will be able to raise some funds to help you get through the rest of this pandemic. <laughs> No, thank you to all of you guys for this course and for uh, have El Centro in mind. 
it's it's a great support for us thank you so much <laughs>